Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the video. Ladies and gentlemen, the question is, do you go for this 4 star, 4 star, medium, medium, right footed Luis Figo inside Icon SBC? Now he was one of them alongside Javier Zanetti and Van der Sar. Now this car looks really good, especially when you have a hunter on it. It's got some good pace, some fantastic pace, very good shooting. Dribbling and passing and now this guy is physical because I remember seeing this guy play in real life He was an outstanding player for Portugal. He really was. I mean after Eusebio You talk Figo and you talk Cristiano Ronaldo the icons of Portugal now How good it was this car now? That's the question was it is it worth the 925,000 it cost for the SBC now I picked him up a little bit cheaper thank God and the reason why is because there was panic the panic started where people were worried, thinking, oh no, he's going to drop in price and people were selling him for a little bit cheaper. So I managed to pick him up for 890,000 coins, which is a really good, really good deal. Now, I need to say this. I felt like he was really physical. I used him up in strike. I didn't use him in right wing. I thought that would be a waste. Either cam or strike. I picked strike because I think this guy has some fantastic looking stats for a striker. And I tell you what, he was super impressive. I mean, his dribbling and agility. I really liked the fact that he was a big guy, but he was good on the ball. Like, this guy's got a big body, right? His frame is huge. Like, this guy is muscular. And uh, I felt like for that size, he was decent on the ball. He was very decent. He was super strong. He could easily hold off Sergio Ramos or Varane or Van Dijk. Honestly, I don't know how, but he just did. He had four-star skills, which means he came with a trickery that I needed, especially in striker. I love a striker with four-star skills. Minimum, five-star would be even better. Yeah, when he ran in from behind, I felt like he was definitely going to get there. His finesse shot was pretty clean as well. I did score a lot of his goals with finesse shots, so his finesse shot was really good. It was a little bit inconsistent, not going to lie. Sometimes it was way better than sometimes, and sometimes it was kind of like, what? Now, this was a nice, that was a beautiful finesse shot. So, that's what I'm saying. He's definitely got that in his locker. Decent passing, short and long, absolutely fine. Stamina, I had no problem, could play this guy end game. Now... Like I said, there's only there's all positives with this card, especially when using in strike. Now there is one issue with this card. Do you go out and do this, knowing that Neymar is 800k on the market? That is the one thing I need to say. Now I, this card is really good. Like I would rate this card a nine out of ten. I think it's solid. The only negative I'd have for it is I do think his body type lets him down at times. And I do think he can be easily tackled because of his size. Okay, that is one negative. That That's the negatives I have for him. But besides that, he was brilliant. Now, my question is to you is, do you go for this card? Seriously, do you go for this card when Neymar is 800k? And Neymar is the best player I've used in this game after Ferenc Puskas. That is the thing you need to decide. Because I tell you what, I would not do this card. Because Neymar is better than him. And easily better than him. Just bear that in mind. Yeah, he's not got more strength than him. But in everything else, I'd rather have Neymar. So you tell me, is this worth... Are you going to get an untradeable Figo? I wouldn't. 